So lastly, from what I've, you know, what I've caught my interest so far, it's laptops. Like, let me just go to the laptops of um, other brands that I didn't mention, like Lenovo, Razor, Dell, and HP. All these guys all brought, you know, their different laptops to showcase. But the ones that caught my attention more are the, like the Razor laptop as well as um, Dell Alienware plus of course Lenovo, <laughs> the Lenovo Yoga 9i. The Lenovo Yoga 9i is its next level actually. So but uh, let's start with the um, Razor laptop, you know, the Razor Blade laptop, you know, the Razor Blade laptop, you know, Razor have been making some, you know, very slick gaming laptop, you know, gaming laptop usually are ugly, but you know, Razor tried to make all these things very clean with heavy performance. So they introduced this Razor Blade 16, and Razor Blade 18. So they are very, very powerful laptop. You know, they come with Intel Core i9, you know, 13th gen Intel Core i9, CPU, NVIDIA, you know, 1490 series, which is the highest that NVIDIA have to offer. It has this big touchpad. The touchpad is huge. I think the biggest touchpad <laughs> that, you know, I've seen yet. So, 1000 nits of brightness for a laptop. It's very high. It's an OLED display and it comes with all sort of ports like USB-C Thunderbolt, you know, USB-A, HDMI port, all the port standards, they are available there as well. So, but then also the most important thing, it's the display uh, highlight, which, you know, from what they are explaining, like the display can go up to, you know, 240 Hz refresh rate so for qhd so if you are running it at qhd display it can go up to 240 hertz but you can also you know run it at you know 1080 uh, you can also run it at uh, uh, 1080p display and maybe go higher or something like that so but for gaming and editing and all the stuff so it just a kind of you know very slick you know gaming laptop you know just what you know blade is known for that they will sell product available you know the coming months very expensive over two thousand dollars so you should have some money in your pocket before you get that also the dell alienware m16 and m18 they also come with the latest gen intel core you know i9 in the processor as well as nvidia 40 uh, 90 series but also something very unique about the 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 dell alienware 1618 is that the uh, graphics card you can switch it for for AMD Ryzen, you understand the latest AMD, AMD Ryzen, you know, gra uh, graphics card. So which is which makes it very unique. But then it's not as slick as the Razor laptop. <laughs> you understand? So, but it has so much, you know, specification on its own side because this one now can go up to 480 hertz, you know, for refresh rate at 1080p and 165 for quad hd so which is higher than what the razor is offering you know the the cooling system is next level and that's why you see it's very huge the cooling system is very powerful and it's very heavy all the ports you want like usb c a and all that they are also inside the dell alienware so anyone you want you know you can pick they also have a slicker version of the dell alienware but depends on which one you want but the actual top of the show for me is the lenovo yoga 9i the lenovo yoga 9i is actually a dual oled laptop the lenovo yoga 9i is a dual oled laptop a full-fledged dual oled laptop that is 13.3 inch on the two screens like it's a 13.3 inch you know two screens laptop with the the there's a bar that separates the two screen the bar is actually a speaker a very powerful speaker from uh, this is a um, speaker from Boaz and Wilkins, so it's a very powerful speaker and all that. So it's an OLED display 2.8K display. So the display it works independently, but if you want, you can make them work as one. So you just need to tap five of your fingers on the display, and bam, it becomes one screen. You can stand it up vert uh, vertically or horizontally, anyhow you want, but it becomes one screen. And also, if for instance, you are standing it like uh, in a vertical way and you want to use one screen as a keyboard you just tap with eight fingers it brings you a virtual keyboard you know which you can move up and down depends on how you want so the virtual keyboard makes you to operate the laptop and this is an actual product that will be released you know sometime 
in 2023 so it's a very cool concept lots of functionalities you know the way it functions the stand that came with it lots of accessories you know as well that came with this laptop and when when you close it it's very you know portable stuff so it's very very you know good and uh, it caught my attention hopefully i get to see it someday you know understand and also don't forget it has latest intel 13 <laughs> it has latest 13 gen intel core intel core core i9 processor and you know all the usb c ports there's a, a thunderbolt there's no usb a because it's a very flat laptop so but it has you know thunderbolt and usb c on it you understand so three usb c port battery is 80 watts hour so that should last you for at least from what lenovo is claiming the battery will last you if you use both displays it last you for over six hours like seven hours but if you use only one display at a time it can last you up to 14 hours so these are just the products so far that they've launched in cs that are, that caught my attention that top i should let you guys know more products might be coming more releases are coming because cs actually is five days we just covered two days so let's go